The Royal Bank of Canada is planning to close its branch on Saint-Jacques Street in Old Montreal. If you've already been in it, you know that this is no ordinary bank branch. Michael Caron is a Montreal writer who thinks the Royal Bank is making a mistake, and he's trying to get the Royal to change its mind. Welcome. Thank you for having me. First, I want to make it clear, you're, you're a freelance writer here in Montreal. You're not a, an anti-bank activist or anything like that. You're just somebody who who thinks the bank is beautiful and should stay open to the public. This particular branch happens to be my branch, and I also happen to be a shareholder of the Royal Bank of Canada. And I think that if the bank vacates this space, in effect abandons this space, it will be abdicating its responsibility on a number of different levels. I know when the, the bank made its announcement, many, many people were shocked uh, because it is incomprehensible. And uh, from my view, as a Montrealer and as a Canadian, and indeed as a shareholder, uh, this decision is ultimately indefensible. We're, we're taking a look at some of the interiors of the bank, and it's just absolutely spectacular. It really is something special, isn't it, the architecture inside the history of that building? The bank brought in a A-class architectural firm from Manhattan in the 1920s to design this space. It's an Italian Renaissance style. It has 45-foot ceilings. It has marble floors inlaid with mosaics. It has Niagara Peninsula limestone. It is grander incarnate. It is saying that the bank is a colossal influence in the economic life of Canada. It is saying to the customers of the bank, look, we are strong, we are stable, we are permanent. That is, the bank is saying, we are here in perpetuity. That is, the bank is saying, you can trust us. And that is why I am saying to the bank that it is turning its back on a covenant that it made with its customers. The other thing that I'd like to point out, and maybe we can take a look at it, there is, there is a memorial, a plaque in the bank that's very quite special, isn't it? Oh, there it is now. Tell us about that plaque that we just saw. There's more than history here. There is tremendous remembrance. The bank erected two massive marble plaques with the names of over 500 men of the Royal Bank who lost their lives in the Great War. We must ask the bank, how can you turn your back on the covenant that you have made with these men? Because once it vacates the space, we cannot know for sure what will happen to the space. I've spoken to the landlord, he assures me, and this and Monsieur Georges Colomb is a great respecter of the patrimony of old Montreal. He owns a number of buildings, including the Royal Bank building. And I have no fear that the space will be desecrated while he is the landlord. But how can we know what is going to happen in the future? This space can become a motorcycle showroom, theoretically, for all we know. It can become a victorious secret lingerie emporium, for all 